Hello students, I am Divya Kashyap from IVS Education. As you all know that I am your chemistry expert and we are on the last topic of chemical kinetics. See, what is, uh, like we have already done chemical kinetics, we have done that how the rate depends upon uh, this thing, uh, the concentration of the reactants, how it depends upon the catalyst. So now you know that uh, we have already studied that for, ev for every 10 degree Celsius rise or rise or fall in temperature, the rate is affected. We have done this. Humne padha hai that for every 10 degree Celsius rise in temperature, the rate of the reaction almost doubles. Okay, so this means that the rate of temperature is affected by the rate is also affected by temperature. And how? For every 10 degree, for every 10 degree Celsius rise in temperature, the rate almost doubles. So we can relate rate with temperature by the formula R is equal to 2 raised to power N, where this N specifies the increase in temperature. The N specifies the increase in temperature and 2 we have taken because we know the rate almost doubles. So for example, if I say that the temperature uh, increases from 10 to 30 degrees Celsius, let's say temperature increases from 10 to 30 degrees Celsius and you get a question that how the rate is affected. So you need to put directly into this formula R is equal to 2, N is the number of increase, so 10 to 20. 10 degree 1 means you can say 10 degree Celsius, 20 to 30 is 20 degree Celsius. So it comes out to be 2, that means it is increasing 2 times. So n is 2, so that means rate almost becomes 4 times. In this condition, the rate almost becomes 4 times. So likewise, you can take a, you can take a question and this can come in a one mark question that if the temperature increases from this to this, how the rate is affected and how much the rate is affected. And you know that what is the reason behind? We can explain on the basis of Maxwell-Boltzmann uh, graph of uh, related to the speed. Let's say we plot a graph where we take a fraction of molecules. We take a fraction of molecules and we make a graph with respect to their energies. We make a uh, graph with respect to their energy. If we take into account, let's say at temperature T1, let's say the graph obtained is like this, right? So that means this much molecules, this much molecules possess that much energy and proper orientation which can cause the effective collision. But if you increase the temperature, let, let us say we increase the temperature to T2, then what happens? This slope of the graph bends, right, and it gets extend in this way. So now we can see that large number of molecules possess the energy equal to threshold energy and you can say proper orientation. So that is the reason because the number of molecules that are crossing that and with proper orientation and the proper energy is increasing, therefore the rate of reaction almost doubles. So I think you got it. So this is how you're going to explain it it that you are going to draw a graph let us say you are explaining on maxwell boltzmann distribution of speed graph fraction of molecule versus energy let's say at temperature t1 we have a graph like this then that means this much number of molecules this area they have these molecules only have that energy and proper orientation which are causing effective collision. But when you increase the temperature, it, the graph slightly bends and the number of molecules possessing these factors increase, therefore the rate almost doubles. Now we have a Arrhenius equation, we have a Arrhenius equation which actually uh, you can say explain the relationship between the activation energy, the temperature and rate of reaction. So we can say that Arrhenius actually conducted few experiments and led to the formulation of a certain expression which relates activation energy, temperature and rate of the reaction. And you know what is that expression? It comes out to be K is equal to AE minus EA upon RT. Right. So what are these uh, variables which are used in this equation? K you know is a rate constant. K is a rate constant. A we know is the collision factor, it is the collision factor, E it is a mathematical operation or an operator you can write, Ea is the activation energy, R we know is a gas constant, right, and T is the temperature in Kelvin. 
So you can use this uh, expression in order to solve uh, for the uh, asked variable, unknown variable. We can take in the form of log also. So if we uh, do uh, integrate it and we have a natural log, then it becomes ln k is equal to minus Ea upon Rt plus ln A. And further, when you uh, convert it into log by substituting 2.303, we get an expression log k is equal to minus Ea upon 2.303 Rt plus log A. So this is the expression which you can actually use in order to uh, solve the equations if it is given in a log form, right? So this expression and this expression are used in the numerical problems in order to solve for uh, this thing k or any unknown variable which is asked in the question. So I think you got it. So with this we finish uh, this chapter chemical kinetics and also this video and we'll meet in the next video where we are going to start with new chapter. Thank you.